All right, you're watching this video, you're ready to make the bar graph. So make sure you have the beverage names listed in Excel. I just have them juice A, B, C, D, but you'll actually put the names of the beverages used. And then you'll have the antioxidant concentration. This is in milligrams per milliliter. You've got these from your standard curve graph. Okay. Now you can highlight the names of the juices only or the beverages and the concentrations and you'll go to insert bar graph it looks like these bars and you can choose any type of bar graph you want vertical horizontal 3d 2d I'm just going to do a 2d for this video and you can see it pops up we need axis titles the vertical axis we will title uh, this will be the concentration of or I can say antioxidant concentration your words better antioxidant concentration this is in milligrams per milliliter and this where wherever your axis is wherever you have the juice names this will be the uh, type of beverage okay this is a comparison of antioxidant concentration in beverages okay comparison of antioxidant concentration in beverages now that you have this basic that this pertinent information on the chart you can now customize your chart as before you can format the chart area by filling the chart with a certain color if you would like you can choose a gradient fill you can change the colors like so more colors if you would like the standard color here you can choose different colors make sure whatever you choose you're able to read or at least I can read um, the values I can read the words and go to text options if it's not clicking for me so well text fill choose black same thing here text options choose the color black for this one so it shows up better make sure the axis titles you can see as well text options I'm going to choose black for the color you can change the color of the bars as well series options fill is automatic gonna change it I don't know blue a brighter blue go to more colors so you customize your chart it needs to be legible I need to be able to read it and I want to make sure that you actually did this for yourself so at least stylize your charts once you've stylized it it's legible your information is there you can submit this to canvas thanks for watching and continue practicing with Excel